Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Gaming Rocks. My previous video was a review and unboxing of the Sega Genesis Mini Console 2. But today I want to make a comparison video between the Mini 2 and this monster right here. Uh, probably most of you have never seen this uh, or heard of it. Uh, I never had until it was given to me. Uh, but this is the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. And like the Mini 2, it also brings a bunch of games uh, built in. This one brings 81 Sega games built in. Uh, this sold for about 40 bucks uh, whenever. But uh, aside from uh, being able to play all these built-in games, it is also capable of playing actual Sega Genesis cartridges. So today I want to compare some of the games that are here with the games that are here because there are a bunch of games that are in common in both consoles. So I want to try uh, both of them to give you a side-by-side -side comparison uh, to see how they compare. Uh, another difference between this one and the Mini 2 is that this one brings two controllers but the drawback of this one is that it's composite only. And so let's check it out. Okay, so uh, let's unbox this console. But before we do that, uh, let's look at the cover. So wire controllers, stereo sound, and cartridge slot. Um, we see that they advertise built in 81 games uh, and Mortal Kombat and Shining uh, Force. Let's turn it around. Here are some of the games that are said to be included here. Uh, Alex the Kid, Alien Storm, uh, Alter Beast, Arrow Flash, etc. etc. So there's a lot of, uh, I think this one's also, Bonanza Bros is also on the Sega uh, Mini 2, so I'm gonna check that out as well. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of game. This one's also on on the um, Sega Mini 2. So um, let's uh, let's see what's inside. So this this is used. So I, I don't expect it to have you know all the stuff that comes in the new console. So we can see two controllers as opposed to one controller that came in the Mini 2. We've got two six button controllers. Uh, however, they're not labeled as Sega. Um, the power cord is not um, micro USB. And then we have the component cable. So here's the actual console. Uh, feels pretty cheap. Um, says Sega Genesis but uh, it's actually by at games and it has an on off button and a menu button or reset brings you back to the menu and then in the front are the two uh, controller ports so notice that they're not USB they're actually I think this is what nine pin yes yeah, a nine pin um, controller ports um, I should try the Atari 2600 uh, controllers see if they work with uh, with this console uh, so that's the front two controller ports uh, it says Sega Genesis uh, in the bottom so I'm guessing this was uh, licensed by Sega so in the back you have the uh, component uh, ports and the power uh, port so that's what the console is like. So let's plug it in and let's check out the gameplay. Okay, so here is the menu for the console. Now you can see that the graphics are pretty bad. Um, if you look at the game cover, uh, it's really difficult to read anything on it other than the name of the game, which is pretty big and still blurry. Uh, but anyway, so the first one's Alex the Kid, and I'm going to move to the next set of games, starting with Dr. Robotnik. Next set 
starting with Kid Chameleon. There's three Mortal Kombat, two Fantasy Star games, a couple of Shining Force games. Then Sonic uh, Shinobi 3 at the very top. And a few Sonic games. Not bad. Air Hockey. The first game up there. And, you know, I, I suspect there's a lot of shovelware here. Um, so, again, I'm not that familiar with all the Genesis games like you guys are. So you'll know by reading the names here. Jewel Magic. Naval Power at the very top. And the last one is Yawning Triceratops. Okay, so I wanted to compare the two consoles and how the games look. So this one here is the Genesis Mini Console 2, and you can see that the graphics are very nice, uh, very crisp and colorful, as it should be. Um, you know, there's no, uh, there's no uh, flickering, there's no blurriness in the graphics. Uh, it looks really nice as HDMI, you know, should look. Um, in the other console, you, you'll see that there's a slight difference. Honestly, not a lot, uh, but there is a difference, and you can tell. Um, as far as the gameplay, you know, it's very uh, smooth uh, in the mini console too. Um, no delays, no lag. So I'm very satisfied with the way the games uh, play in this console. So we're now going to take a look at the... Uh, other console uh, to see if you can uh, identify any differences in the gameplay. So this is the Genesis Classic game console, the the older console. Uh, again, you know, the colors are not as bright uh, and you can see a bit of blurriness here. But honestly, the difference is not a lot. Uh, I thought I was going to see much more of a difference. Mainly in the menu is where you see a lot of difference, uh, where, you know, the game box image is really blurry. You know, you don't see, you know, the letters really well. You can't read what it says. But I'll be honest with you, the, the, the graphics here don't look that bad, uh, even though this is composite, not HDMI. And I am using an HDMI adapter, but it's not an upscaler. So that adapter is not changing the image really at all. Um, it's still the same way it looks with composite cable. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not that disappointed on these, uh, about this console. You know, um, the thing is that most, most of the new TVs now do not have uh, composite um, outputs or inputs. Um, so that's the only problem with this, but you can buy an HDMI adapter and, and use it on any new TV. HDMI adapters are pretty cheap on, on uh, Amazon or eBay. Okay, so this is uh, Golden Axe 2 on the Genesis Mini Console 2. And so you can see how sharp the image, the letters, uh, you know, the, uh, the colors are very sharp, very bright. Uh, the gameplay is great. There's no lag or delay. Um, reminds me a lot of the arcade uh, version of this. Um, this is a very, very good game. And you can see that, you know, the, the images are very clear to see. There's no blurriness. There's no flickering uh, of the image. Uh, again, you know, this is HDMI, so you expect it to be a uh, high quality um, image. So I didn't find anything uh, wrong with this version. And so now we're going to compare this to the version on the older console, the composite uh, console, to see if we notice any differences. Okay, so this is the version on the older console, the composite uh, console. And you can see a little bit of... Uh, 
a little bit of blurriness, not that bad actually. I mean, the game is playable, the controls, you know, are great. There's no, you know, significant lag or delay. Um, the colors are pretty good. Um, you know, it's just slightly more blurry than the mini console too. Again, you know, if this is the one you have, um, you can use an HDMI adapter, which are really cheap and play it on your regular TV. Um, my only concern with this older console is that, you know, the games that uh, are bundled in, in the console are not that great. Um, there's a lot of shovelware in that console, but you know, overall the quality is not that bad. Um, the, you know, the controls are good. There's no, I didn't notice any, you know, any issues with the controls. I was able to play, uh, the game just fine. And I was able to see everything fine. I mean, my, my only, my only concern again, like I said previously is the menu. The menu looks really bad. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to read the game box image. Um, that's about the only concern I have. But other than that, I mean, the image is not that bad. Uh, the gameplay is fine. And so, you know, if you have this thing, you shouldn't have an issue playing this on, on a, um, on a, uh, large screen TV, um, you know, using an HDMI adapter, you should be okay. And, you know, the fact that you can actually play, you know, Sega game cartridges um, on this console, you know, it's a plus actually. So I'm going to showcase that in a second. Okay, so this is actual gameplay um, of an actual uh, Sega Genesis cartridge on the uh, classic game console, the older console. So again, you know, not the best image in the world, so a little blurriness there, but you know, it is composite, so you can expect it to be a little blurry. Uh, but again, you know, this is the advantage of this console. I mean, it's it's older and it's composite. Uh, you know, it's not as nice as the new uh, Genesis uh, Mini 2 console, but it does play cartridges from the original Sega Genesis, so this is something to consider. But again, you know, not the same. I know we all prefer the new one, so we'll go with that. All right, guys, so there you have it. A full comparison between the Sega Genesis Mini 2 and this lower quality console that brings more games, uh, but it also has the ability to play regular Sega Genesis cartridges. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, clicking the like button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on videos that I upload. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know uh, if you would even purchase something like this. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.